Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to use the matte toolbar with Angular Material. So we're going to get this basic example working on our own blank site. Um, so I'm just going to copy the first example from their site and paste it into my own HTML file. Um, we also need to go in the app module and import matte toolbar module. So with those two changes, we're actually good to go. We should see our toolbar at the top. So there it is, that looks great. Only thing wrong is, um, I think the body has some margin on it, yeah. So let's go take the margin off the body, it'll make it look nicer. So inside of our styles.css, we're gonna add a selector for body, and we're gonna say margin is zero and that'll get rid of that border on the edge. Um, also, inside of my uh, styles.css, I'm importing this indigo pink thing. So if we want to make our navbar have a color, we can just say color equals primary, and that can be either primary accent or warning. Um, be sure to check out my tutorial on angular theming uh, Angular custom theme if you want to learn more about uh, Angular theming and how to customize this sort of thing. But for now, it's just the blue, blue and pink default one. All right, so let's see what else we can do to this uh, toolbar to make it more interesting. Um, so if we want multiple rows, the second example says that we can add a matte toolbar row. Um, so we'll see what that looks like on our site. So instead of my app, I'm going to paste in these two rows, matte toolbar row, and they each just have a span inside of them, first and second. Alright, and then that did what just what it said it was going to do, and it made two rows. Um, so that looks nice. Um, let's see what else we can do. Oh, a really useful trick for... Uh, positioning things inside of a toolbar is often you want things on the sides like they have buttons up on their navbar on the left hand side and buttons on the right hand side um, so the way they do that is they have an element which has a class theirs is uh, example fill remaining space so we're going to copy that element and um, make sure it has this flex 1 1 auto style applied to it. So back in our code, um, I'm going to revert the example back to just a single my app. Um, but I do want it right here so I can put a span right there. And I'm going to call it something else. I'm just going to call it um, fill. And then inside of our app component CSS, I'm going to copy this flex11 auto and then apply it to the dot fill class. Okay. And then I'm also going to add a button. Um, button. And it's going to be a matte button. And it's going to say button. For our button to work, we need to make sure we have the matte button module imported as well as well as, you should probably have this browser animations module. Um, I find that if I don't import this in all my apps, I usually get errors, so be sure to import both this and the button module. And so in between my app, there should be space, and then button should be on the right-hand side. And that's what we see, so that looks great. So also, we can use this uh, fill as much as we like. Um, so if I use it twice here, and then I have button 1 and button 2, it should equally divide everything. Yep, so then that goes in the middle. So that's a really quick way to make a pretty nice looking layout. Like, that's literally what um, the Angular Material site does. So that's pretty cool that it's that easy. Um, and then we've already covered this theming part. And we don't care about this last part. 
All right, so that's Matt Toolbars. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this tutorial, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.